Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. You know, I am constantly amazed at all the different creatures there are in the world. I, I, I find uh, nature programs about different animals, birds, fish, absolutely fascinating. Just the great variety of creatures that God has created. But there are some of them, you look at them at creatures that seem to be very unpleasant and you wonder why on earth God made them at all or what purpose they serve. And if I'm honest with you, one of the creatures that I've often looked at and thought it's just unremittingly ugly with no redeeming feature is the vulture. The bird that basically eats dead animals. It lives off carrion. You know, vultures, we associate them with death and, and starvation. And and uh, we know that the, when people die out in the desert, they can be eaten by vultures. And so vultures seem a, a singularly unattractive creature that you may wonder why God created them. Well, it turns out that vultures have been suffered a catastrophic drop in their population in India. They've been dying for quite a number of years on unprecedented numbers. And it's all to do with a drug, a drug that was used to treat sick cows that would help cows to recover from certain diseases but then that drug would remain in the bodies of the cows and later on when the cows either died of something else or died of old age or whatever else the vultures would eat the dead cows and this drug would still be in the cow's system and it was poisonous to the vultures. It might have made, helped the cows get better from certain things, but it killed vultures. And so vultures began dying off in great numbers. And, and across India, from there being 50 million vultures at one time, the population plummeted to near zero. Now, the mad thing is that scientists have calculated that because of this, more than half a million people died also uh, because of the lack of vultures. Because apparently vultures, by consuming dead animals and not having them rotting, uh, prevents uh, many deadly bacteria from spreading among human populations. And so because of the lack of vultures there to eat carrion, dead animals, to, with their scavenging, about ha over half a million people are reckoned to have died needlessly because of a lack of vultures. And I have to tell you, I stand rebuked as somebody who looked at vultures and thought there's no possible justification for these creatures' existence. Apparently, they were serving a very useful purpose that was helping to keep people alive. The Bible says that God works for good in every circumstance. I've had situations in my life that felt like vultures. They felt like things that were happening in my life. And I said, God, I cannot see any good in this situation whatsoever. I cannot see any benefit in it. I cannot see any reason why this could ever be a blessing to me or anybody else. And I don't understand why you have allowed it to happen. But nevertheless, God did allow it to happen. Now, that doesn't mean that God made it happen. There's a difference between the elective will of God and the permissive will of God. Sometimes God allows things to happen even though he didn't make them happen. And sometimes God has allowed things to happen in my life that I found personally very painful and very difficult and I wondered why God was allowing it. But you know what? So often those situations have actually enabled me to build things into my character that have turned out to be a blessing for me, my family, and the churches that I lead. Just like vultures actually do serve a purpose, even the most difficult circumstances in our lives still serve a purpose. God works in all things for good. That, that can be the hardest scripture of all to believe when you're going through a tough time. It may be that today you're going through a situation and you just look at it and say, There's a, I can't see any way that the, any positive benefit could ever come out of this. But just as happened with the, the vultures in India, you may be surprised at how God works for good in the most difficult of circumstances. And I pray God will bring you through to a place of victory over your circumstances, but also at a place of testimony where you can say, even in the difficult times, I believe that God was at work and God was working through all things for good in Jesus' name. May God bless you today. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.